you here with some background noise. Got some construction going on in the background, but we also have a 2013 Toyota Tacoma Limited, real nice truck, super cool wheels on it. Uh, with this, what we're calling crash damage for sure. Definitely got hit by something. Uh, I've got the tail light taken out. These two little high spots you see through the line there, boom. They are from it pushing into the brace behind here. So it actually went so deep that it pushed into the brace. Um, once again, excuse the background noise. And then we've got this uh, horizontal three inch crease right here that drops down into a moon shaped four inch crease right there. Obviously those two little high lines in this weird little wowie area. And then we got monster big one down here which crests that brow. We're gonna definitely stick some glue tabs in, pull some on that and uh, tap down those brows. And we'll get back with you in just a second and show you uh, what we're doing when Wifey's back to film me. I think she just went to pick up some touch-up paint for this car, so we'll be back with you. Okay guys, we're back. Um, I've made a lot of pushes through here and some through here. I've left this whole bottom area completely the way it is. I tapped a little bit on this brow. Um, obviously wifey's back filming and I'm gonna start down here and I'm just making some, let me turn my hat around and I'm just making some real slow pushes through the bottom here, trying to get the meat of this large part out. Um, and it's a real strong area guys. So it's because of the impact of this damage it's not like this thing is gonna come out quickly. It's uh, a lot of pushes to get this tension out of it. And then I'm gonna come through and I'm right about here. If you see where I'm at, I'm using my number one tool, sharp tip, <clears throat> just a normal blunt tip because it has this 90 degree bend in it, which allows me to get the fulcrum that I need. Um, if need be, if I need to get in there super tight at the end, with a different tool, I can always zip a hole in this piece of metal right here, which is never seen once you put the tail light back on. But uh, we're just making a lot of slow pushes here. I know I, I uh, started off the video and showed you what we we're looking at and then started working on it. Well, this is how far we got in, I'd say, an hour, an hour of working. And uh, we probably got another hour to work on it and we will come back and show you little clips and uh, show you where we're at when we get some more of this out. Back, I taped up my tip a little bit and I'm gonna hit up this large area. And let me take my coat off. Kind of in my way. And it's gonna slide right up in here and I'm gonna get this large area out pretty rapidly. I think I'm fighting the weather. I think it might start get rainy, start to get rainy words, but uh, so I'm making some severe pushes up through the top here. I'm just getting some of this meat out and uh, I'll even come down to this area right there and really make some strong pushes. Um, I'm probably putting about 10 to 12 pounds of pressure on the inside of this tool. Now let's get up to that top area in kind of a twisty pry. I could probably do it better from going through these holes, but I see really well. So if my vision is really well and my push is just a little bit wonky, um, I'll kind of go with my, my vision because I want to, I mean, I always want my pushes to be right on point but at this point, I'd rather have the vision because I know exactly what I got to look at. And I'm tool's just a little bit on the edge of its push. You can hear it kind of hits the truck when I'm pushing all the way out. I'll give it a little bit more angle. And actually, I'll give it a little bit more fulcrum with this towel. And that actually gives me a little bit more push. It's not just to protect the metal, it is to protect the metal, but it's also to give me that 
that high uh, pressure fulcrum, fulcrum. And uh, we will come back here when we start working on this little bottom one down here. Okay guys, so we got the top part out up there. We're down here on this bottom. Let me move my hat around so everybody can see my bald spot. And let's get this nice and warm. I made a glue pole down here. Sorry I didn't keep you in for that glue pole, but I'm just trying to trying to work and get this dent done. It was uh, one good solid pull, and then I pulled one on the side here, and it didn't want to move that much. But I can get my tool up underneath it. And I basically got Bertha on the ground and it's kind of a tough little weird pull, but I've got the, the tool on the ground and the tip of it right there. So I am basically babying out this little corner of this top edge right now. And I thought I'd bring you guys in for some of this intricate pushes. I was gonna say we don't have any background noise, but there was some. And I will say at this point in the video, I sure do appreciate everybody that clicks on this video. Um, I really do. If you would hit that subscribe button, that'd be awesome. It helps out the channel a lot. Sorry, I almost bumped wifey over. And uh, yeah, we got tools all over the place. And so I'm gonna keep on tooling this little area out. And obviously I'm keeping it warm. It's not super hot. It's not super cold out. Can't see my breath. But just give it a little bit of heat. And then I come in and make some of these pushes. Um, let's go right along this body line. And straighten this little part out. This is the toughest part. And uh, it's not that this dent was very difficult at all. It's just a lot of work. So it's a lot of patience, a lot of work. It's not like it's any one part of it is super difficult. This is probably the most difficult part out of all of it, being that it's on an edge. It was a, a crash damage. And I think I want to get a little bit wider of a line there so I can see more into it. And we'll get right up on that edge again. Find my tool here. And come through and make some real strong pushes through the middle there. Right through there. So, yeah, it's getting kind of tough even for me to see, guys. Um, but we'll put the tail light on and we'll, when we're all done, we'll come back and show you the whole end result with the board and everything. Okay guys, here's what we ended up with. Um, I'd say it came out really nice. Uh, I showed it to the cap customer, he's happy with it. Once again, excuse the background noise. Um, but basically the difference between a dent that started here and ended here, and now it doesn't really look like that. I think it came out pretty darn nice. If you guys like this video, um, hit me up with that like. and. Uh, you can always trigger the little bell for notifications. You'll be notified every time I make a new video. Otherwise, other than that, this has been PDR and I'm out. Peace.